Hi guys, I'm Federico and welcome back to Lost Catch YouTube channel. This episode will be a tutorial which many of you asked me for uh, on Instagram and uh, Reddit and other forums. It will be a tutorial about uh, leather care and also sweater care for boots and uh, sho leather shoes in general. Now, here we have a pair of uh, Fall Winter 13 Oakley Wyatts, a pair of GNC Permanent Collection uh, Zipper Boots and also a pair of uh, Saint Laurent uh, Fall Winter 13 uh, Black Leather Wyatts. Now we'll see what kind of products to, to use and which kind of uh, treatment you need to do for them. Starting from suede ones. The suede, as you might know, is a lighter material than uh, leather. And in this case, I never use uh, water repellents because water repellents, when you spray them on leather suede, especially lighter ones like these Saint Laurent Wyatts, make the shade uh, darker, at least of one tone, and you can definitely see it. So what I do is just uh, take a suede brush, which you can uh, find in some uh, stores or uh, at the cobbler. It looks like this. As you can see, it's a very light brush. Sometimes they are also made of uh, rubber. And what to do? Basically, you just brush the spots where you can see dirt and uh, dust. As you can see, this. Uh, these wires I have, uh, they have been uh, with me since uh, 2013, they have uh, three years almost and uh, they're basically new, they, also, they only have this spot here which uh, it was a uh, mark where uh, when some water dropped on it but I mean it's almost impossible to notice as you can see on the soles I didn't put uh, Vibram or uh, any other topics yet but now we will check how they look when a rubber insert is uh, put on by a cobbler in fact, let's move to the Black Leather Wyatts. As you can see, this is a 2013 version with exposed zippers. And there's the outsole with the Vibram insert. This is impossible to notice when they're worn. Also, if you can see, there is basically the profile and the outline, the perimeter of the outsole remains the same. This uh, Vibram was put on by my cobbler like uh, two years ago, as you can see they, st they still uh, go strong. Also, what I recommend is uh, you have two choices to wear them when you buy a new pair and uh, have the sole uh, that gets like this. Because anyway, when you bring a pair of boots to the cobbler to apply a Vibram or any other rubber sole, the cobbler will sand it down, it will look anyway like this when the Vibram will uh, get, uh, get off or be removed. And obviously the other option is when you buy them, directly bring them to the cobbler. Now let's talk again about leather. As you can see there's quite a difference in uh, how the leather upper looks in, uh, in these two boots. This is the the whites for Saint Laurent and this is the GNC pair the leather is about the same, I could say even uh, that the GNC ones are a better quality but uh, that's because the last time I treated this pair of Saint Laurent ones with wax, a wax cream for leather and also with a brush whereas I didn't do the treatment on uh, GNC ones since like uh, two months what to do to treat the leather? you need first of all some kind of uh, napkin like this, a brush for leather like this one you can buy it at any cobbler and also wax cream, this is a, an Italian brand I think, Kiwi I don't know if they make them, they sell them in other in other countries but this at least I think it's one of the best for uh, for leathers that uh, it's sold in Italy anyway it's a wax cream with oils made for leather care so for leather care, what do you need to do first? First you need to grab the napkin and uh, uh, you need to clean the shoes especially you need to remove all the, the dust on the, all the dirt because otherwise when you apply the, the cream uh, with the brush the cream will the because otherwise when you apply the cream with the brush all the dirt and the, the dust will stick to the cream and it's something you don't want to happen because otherwise the dust and the dirt will stick uh, to it and the boots also will be less shiny so now let's clean them up as you 
also near the, the weld here. On the toes. The heel. Let's get the, the cream. Just apply it uh, in uh, small spots, like this. You don't need uh, a lot of it. And now we grab the brush and apply the cream all over the upper of the boots. And, uh, and don't leave any, any spot, obviously. Now let's grab some uh, shoe trees and put them uh, on the boots which is something you should do after every time you wear them and uh, leave them like uh, uh, 24 hours or at least that's what I do and here you can see the difference in the, the one uh, which I treated and the, and the one which uh, left out as you can see the one on the right could uh, pass uh, basically as brand new and now obviously I also apply the, the leather wax also on this one. Now since many of you asked me about this, we'll uh, also talk about what to do after you take some heavy rain in your boots. For Suede I recommend uh, going to a cleaner and uh, which uh, you could restore the original color and the texture of the Suede. Whereas for later it's easier, you just need to use uh, a water repellent spray on them before going out. And um, also if you did not spray them with the water repellent, you can, uh, when you get home you can just uh, use a cloth to remove the, the water on the outside. And if they are also wet on the inside, you just need to put some, uh, something like uh, a wrapped newspaper on the inside so it removes uh, the humidity and the moisture. I recommend always not to put them uh, right uh, near to a source of heat like a radiator or a blue and dry because the extreme change of temperature could bring the leather to crack. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of my YouTube channel. Please share, comment and subscribe and uh, let me know if you want to see something else entirely the next time like a review or another tutorial. Cheers guys, uh, have a nice day. Here's the flannel, it comes uh, with this uh, western feet, with this uh, western yoke, uh, western cut pockets. What we can see is that uh, this uh, shirt, even if it has a western cut, it doesn't feature these snap buttons, usual of uh, samurai shirts.